Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute since I've been gone, but uh, I just had the craziest month of my life. Like this whole month of April has literally been this like nightmare roller coaster, like fever dream that I just like could not wake up from. I mean, every single day I was literally waking up like what it, what's going to happen today? I don't um, it, it's been crazy, but I, I did find a way to have a lot of fun too and, you know, distract myself and everything and my friends have been a great help with that. But I've also made um, quite a few new friends too, so that's cool. But um, yeah, there's there's a lot going on in this video and, and there was a lot of stuff happening like in the background as well that um, I just, I, I can't talk about on my YouTube channel, it's really personal stuff. Um, so it, it was just... It, it was just a disaster and I don't I don't know how else to put it like it's been crazy and like so much stuff happened so fast like I didn't even get a chance to actually process anything before I immediately had to start making moves and like figuring out what I was going to do next and everything so um but it's okay because like now my life is leveling out I'm you know back on my feet everything's everything's gonna be okay so like I can breathe again um for the most part but when I first started recording this, I started recording it in March and I started recording it like right when I kind of got over like the shock factor of leaving my seven year relationship. And when I started like feeling a lot better about like, oh, OK, like, yeah, this is, you know, everything's going to be fine. Like this is this is my new reality. I'm alone, you know, um, that's when I started recording it. And then like shortly after that, it just everything hit the fan and blew up in my face. And it's just it's just been crazy. Uh, but I mean, the important thing is I had fun and everything's going to be fine. And, you know, I got me. Um, oh, also, I did change my username on Instagram. So it's not positively wandering Cindy anymore. Now it's pw.sincity. Um, I just didn't really like the other one. It was too long. It, it bothered me every time that I looked at it. And like, I don't know, pw.sincity, like, I don't know, it's cute. It's to the point. It's short. And PW is not just positively wandering. It's also like poet writer. So like, it just all works out. I just really, really like it. So um, yeah, check it out if you haven't already. I post a lot of my writings um, and stuff there, like a lot of pictures and stuff. But um, I mean, obviously, it's Instagram. So I don't know. Grab your popcorn. This is, uh, <laughs> I just, uh, hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> so I've actually had a great day off today. I mean, really, really good. I, I drank last night, um, just cause it was St. Patrick's day. Um, I didn't go to a bar I was going to, but then like, I had a cut scene in my head of someone stuffing me into a car after being roofied. So I was like, nah, I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna, cool. I'm just gonna hang out with my dog, but um i oh and i oh <laughs> i also got my uh sienna bedspread so i'm really excited about that because i think it looks really good with like the colors that i have going on with the drapes and like the warm lights and stuff but yeah no it's been a really good day i woke up this morning and i took care of my dog and cat and then i laid back down and put on a movie and took another little nap and then I woke up and I got a lot of writing done on my book and then I picked up my whole apartment because I kind of let it fall apart after like a depression pit and that that never helps you know so I, I got it all picked up it's all nice and clean I got all my laundry done I filed my taxes which sucks but at least now I know you know how much I owe and everything but I it's just been a good day. It's been so productive. Um, you know, I didn't go hiking or to the beach. I've been at home all day, but at least like I've like I'm, I got my life together today, you know, and 
it's been really really good and now I just have to take care of like a couple things for work real quick and then I'm gonna light some candles and I'm gonna get some more writing done and I'm gonna go to bed on time tonight so I can get back to my schedule of going to bed early waking up early and yeah it's just it's really good and I just wanted to put that little update in here now here working my life away but that's okay keeps me busy and distracted and uh you know like I've said before I love my job and I love the company I work for and I love everyone I work with so like what more can I ask for you know it's it's a good day I'm just having a really good day <laughs> I don't know I worked like all day today but I actually got home at a decent time I mean what I would consider to be decent 12 hours in I think that's a decent time to come home after that <laughs> but I'm just having a really good day I don't know like it's just it's getting better and better day by day um there's definitely some things that I still need to work on like my fridge my fridge is a disaster I need to clean out my fridge and I need to get groceries and start cooking for myself on a regular basis again and meal prepping and all but I don't know like I just I feel really good I feel really good and I have been vaping and I have been drinking like the chances that I do get so I do need to backpedal on that but I'm not ready to quit right now I'm I'm just you know I'm navigating this whole new life and so I'm just gonna let myself chill you know just kind of hang out um you know there's there's no reason to do everything all at once all together so that is okay and I don't know I know I've mentioned it before that I was I have been putting together a vlog of not drinking or vaping for a whole year so you see how that's going <laughs> it's that that one's gonna be a really long one but that's okay um I mean that's just the reality of it you know but I don't know it's just it's just a really good day and I got I got some writing done today too and now I'm just chilling trying to think of like when my next day off is going to be and thinking about like what I want to do if I want to do like a little bit of a hiking vlog or if I just want to go sit on the beach all day and not do anything you know it's been a while since I've gone swimming that's what I need to do really bad I need to I need some salt water in my hair um but yeah just quick little update for today look at all of these freckles it's so weird like I never really had freckles as a kid except like here and there during like summertime and but I really wanted them and then all of a sudden I moved to Hawaii and I just have freckles all over my face I need to get out of the house I'm gonna go out tonight um nothing crazy I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get myself some fish tacos for dinner and a beer and uh, just kind of, you know, just get out of my apartment and in a way that's not just going to work. Um, I think that's gonna be good for me. So I had dinner and everything and that was cool, but I, before I actually left for dinner, I had to call the police on this man that was clearly like scoping me and my apartment out. I don't know, I don't know if he was just like a mentally ill houseless person or if he was just like super drunk, but I've actually never seen this guy before. Um, but I called the police and, you know, it was handled and everything, but it was just like, ah, oh, here's, you know, here's, with the sweetness comes the sour, you know, I still, I love living by myself, I really do, but there's obviously, you know, stuff like that to look out for, but I am safe and I am in bed and I'm about to go to sleep and get ready to have a great day at work tomorrow. So, Yeah. I'm single now and I haven't been single literally like legitimately single since I was like 16 years old like I feel like as soon as I was someone was snatching me you know and I mean that's okay but I just I just don't think that it's healthy for someone like me you know I am a very ambitious individual and 
the thing is, my relationship with Adam was beautiful. It was wonderful for the most part. Um, you know, it wasn't perfect. Nothing ever is, but it, it was it was a really good, very healthy, communicative relationship. And you know, now here I am, and I've been alone all this time here, and I just realized how lovely it is to just you know, be on my own and just take care of myself. And the thing is, you know, I just turned 27. So 30, 30 is right around the corner. I mean, I can, I can see it. It's right there. So I just have to be really intentional, you know, entering this new decade of my life. And I just, I have to have that breathing room to, be able to, you know, make plans. I mean, I, I, I think I've known what I what I want out of my life for a long time. But now at this point in my late 20s, it's not about wanting, you know, it's about full execution at this point. And I need to be able to have that breathing room to just figure it out. <laughs> Gilios. I just need to have that time to be able to figure it out on my own alone and be able to take care of these plans and take care of these ambitions without having to consult someone else along the whole way and you know some people are going to have their feelings about that that's okay um you know i said it in my facebook post that adam is a wonderful man i mean he really is he's <laughs> He's so great, uh, and, I, and I, I, I do still love him to death, and I always will. Um, but I just think, I just think at this point in my life, I just needed to take a step back and just be with myself. And uh, I think, I just think this chapter of my life just it belongs to me. It just belongs to me. And the plot twists continue. I lost my job tonight. Um, I got fired. This is the first time in my life that I have ever been fired. And I wasn't I really wasn't given a reasonable explanation other than I was just paid too much and a couple other bullshit fucking things that are that they're personal uh they're, they're just they were personal things directly aimed at me from a couple individuals and oh my god I mean, aside from being terrified about what I'm going to do next and just like everything coming to a halt and all of that, I just, I'm so, I'm so hurt right now. I'm so like, I'm so sad. Like my feelings are really, really hurt right now. Um, oh my God. I, I just, I can't believe... I can't believe they would do that to me <laughs> after everything that I've done and just, ugh, it makes me sick to my stomach, but I've had a little bit of time. I mean, I've had a certain handful of hours since um, I've heard it, since, you know, I got the news broken to me, but I'm just like... <laughs> Damn, um, okay, well, now I just have a whole new obstacle to figure out, and, uh, just getting back on my feet, at least until I can get rehired, um, because I am gonna go back, because I, I really do, I found, you know, I found my family there, so I'm gonna go back as soon as I can, but it's just, it was so sudden and so unexpected and so thrown in my face and so 
disrespectful to me as an individual and I don't even I don't I don't even know what else to say right now okay I feel a lot better now um my job was saved I'm just not doing the same thing that I was before so I gotta find another job again to supplement like that deficit but that's okay honestly like I'm just glad that my job is saved and I can stay and I just have to find another little part-time job and, and I'm kind of glad that I don't have all the extra responsibilities that I was doing before anyway. So this is actually a good thing, but things are going okay. All right, I'm officially spiraling now. <laughs> um, I just, I, I don't, my life is literally a movie. It's literally a movie with just like all of the elements. It's like comedy and horror and suspense and drama, just all, all together, all at once, all at the same time. And I'm, I'm like, I don't, who is, who is writing this? Because I'm starting to feel like, I'm starting to feel like I'm not even like the main character in my own movie and I'm just like everybody else's main side character and that's why I'm always getting thrown all of these side quests and all these like <laughs> issues that I have to uh, freaking figure out but basically now um, it's just gotten to the point where like you know after everything I have made the decision to rehome my dog um, because I am I'm not providing the best life that I can um, or the best life that he deserves. You know, I'm, I'm always working all the time. I'm always gone and it's going to be even worse now having to go back to working two jobs. And it's like, you know, poor dude is cooped up in the apartment all day and then uh, it, it really, really sucks. And then, you know, like that, like what happened a few nights ago, like when, when they just fired me on, on the spot, like for ridiculous reasons and then you know I'm, I'm just sitting there like oh my like please don't do this to me like why, why aren't you just demoting me I don't I don't understand what's happening but I mean you know it's good that I still have that job and everything but it's like just that fear of oh sh oh god what do I do you know um like and what do I do with my dog and my cat you know like it, if it ever comes to that it, it's just a lot easier to figure things out um if it's just me and my cat versus me my cat and my hyperactive high, high energy dog a uh, big dog so it really really sucks and it's awful um but it, it's just one of those like really difficult decisions that you have to have the responsibility to make as as a responsible pet owner you know is just that you have to recognize when a situation is not in in their best interest and he and he deserves the whole i mean he's the best dog in the world and he deserves the whole world and that that means even if it's not with me and that's fucking crazy because i've had him since he was six weeks old so he's he just turned seven on new year's so this is really really hard um but i mean it's not like i'm you're never gonna see me crying on camera like that's just not how i roll um so this is just uh, like, this is just insane, you know, like, because also, like, aside from that, it's, it's like, I, I can't, like, now that I'm, like, scrambling, basically, um, just to have, just, like, having to rearrange all of my finances and just, just basically start over, I'm just, like, <laughs> I have to keep the roof over my head too, yeah, and it's like I can't limit myself to only being available for certain hours because of my dog and because of him, like, ha having anxiety when I'm gone for so long and barking and disrupting my neighbors, and, and that's the last thing I need too, is to come home to an eviction letter on my door, so it's like, it really sucks, but... Um, I'm gonna find, you know, a really nice family that has a yard and that has time to do outdoor stuff with him on a regular basis and, and spend that quality time with him and fuck, it just sucks because it's like I, I thought I was gonna have this dog forever, you know, um, but I mean if I did a good job up until this point then, you know, sometimes sometimes that's just that's what it is you know if 
just because something doesn't last forever doesn't mean that it wasn't beautiful and it didn't matter. It's just, uh, <sighs> my life is a freaking movie, dude. So great news, I got another job really, really quick, um, which I, I knew was gonna happen because my, my resume is pretty good. Um, so it's usually really easy for me to find work. But I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna restructure all my finances now because I'm like, do I really wanna go back to working my life away with two jobs? No, that's not really why I moved here. So I'm just gonna rearrange some stuff <laughs> um, and do some things and then I'm gonna be just fine getting by with one job so I can actually have free time and I can just chill and I can focus on YouTube and my writing and everything. So this is, this is, this is good. This is a necessary decision and I'm, I'm really excited for uh, what's to come next. <laughs> out here working. I'm watching Shameless in case you hear weird stuff in the background, but like, I just, I don't, <laughs> life is just, uh, it's just, it's just a roller coaster. I'm just here for the ride, man. I, I, I'm just, I'm just here for the ride. I just, I don't, I don't even think I have one hand on the steering wheel anymore, but you know, I'm just, I'm just going to keep doing what I do and, and I'm just going to keep doing what I love and We'll just see how this goes. <laughs> Say cheese, Manny. <laughs> fuck your camera, fuck your fucking whatever you was on. <laughs> on this episode of the Boss, <laughs> we got Twin Bopo in the back. We're in Popo. <laughs> We're in Popo. Yeah, and then and we May. Got, uh, Jojo. We got Jojo. We got Jojo in the house. And then we got Tree Tree. Cheering, bitch. This is going on YouTube, by the way. <laughs> no fucking way, bitch. Okay, yeah. Meme, catch the fucking, catch the flash. We wait, gotta... wait, wait, wait. Oh, hold on. Meme, hold on. This is going okay. on YouTube. Man, you gonna hold it? <laughs> ain't no, bitch! Ain't no party Come like on. the 808 party because the 808 party don't hey, stop. Come on. <laughs> hold on. Where's really? And then we got our motherfucking rejoice. Where's rejoice? Here we go over there. Wait, no Cindy Lou, we gotta walk back. Ready? <laughs> One, two, hey, three, three, four, five, back six, up, seven, Backing it up, 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 backing it up. Backing it up. Backing it up. That's oh my. Okay, then. And here's oh. Riri. Oh yeah. Are you calling Austin? Riri. No, we're calling Riri. Riri. This is for her YouTube what channel. Cause it's going well, on you YouTube. <laughs> Oh my god, I literally like I cannot make this stuff up. This is insane. Like this whole freaking month, uh, it, it's going by so fast. It literally feels like a fucking fever dream. Like this shit is crazy. And obviously there's there's all kinds of things happening all at once. And I can't talk about all of them on here, obviously, but it's just like, what is going on? Okay, so I've been kind of wilding out a little bit, uh, not really making the best decisions and I honestly got like super personal, so not gonna go into details or anything, but got really paranoid, like just about my health and everything. But went to the doctors, everything was good. So that's really good news, but I am losing a lot of weight. Um, I, which I knew that I was losing weight, like just because of stress and just not taking care of myself lately, just kind of like not eating enough, drinking too much, vaping, things like that. Like just bad things that I need to get back under control just kind of get back on the right track with like meal prepping and not vaping, not drinking as much, you know, things like that. But yeah, no, I went to the doctors and I weighed 106 pounds, which when I moved here, I was like 125. So really not good news there. Really got to 
step up my game, start taking care of myself. So that's what I'm working on now. I'm about to go grocery shopping and actually cook for myself tonight and, you know, just kind of try to relax and try to get back into what I do, which is, you know, just take care of myself and keep it chill. So that's the update right now. Um, but I mean, so far things are good, you know, um, probably going to leave my company, which really sucks. But at this point it is what it is. Um, and I need to just watch out for myself type of deal. So yeah, that's, that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> I know exactly what I need right now. I need sunshine, I need fresh air. I need to, I need to go on a hike on my next day off. I need to go on a hike and I need to breathe and I need to be out in nature. So that's, that's what I'ma do. Cause that's what I do. I'm doing my eyebrows right now. So don't mind this, but you know, gotta, gotta keep them on fleek. But, um, I, I'm watching The Big Bang Theory right now, and I was supposed to have a friend come over, but they had to cancel, so I'm kind of bummed, but then I got this, like, random burst of energy to take care of myself, so I'm doing my eyebrows, and then I'm gonna shower, and then I'm gonna actually make dinner and clean out the rest of my fridge, and then I'm gonna write until, like, 2 o'clock in the morning, and I have tomorrow off, so I'm gonna go on my hike, and I'm just, like... I, I I feel good right now. Like, I feel really, really good right now. And I'm not drinking tonight. I'm gonna... It's been so long since I've just sat back and had a cup of tea. And I'm just like... Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Well, I ended up staying up too late last night so I didn't wake up in time to go on a hike. I really don't like going um, later in the morning. I like getting there like super early like for sunrise because it feels better. It's not crowded. So I'll just try again tomorrow morning but I did need to get out of the house and I just need to, I need to sit by the ocean. And I just need to contemplate things and I usually always take my dog with me when I come down here but I wild you know and I just I need to breathe for a second I feel so good out right now and yeah that's the other thing too a lot of people here always have their dogs like off leash and then they're always running up on Helios which it's fine because Helios is really friendly but I really don't like it you know um, so it's just it's a lot to handle and also he's always trying to chase the birds and the cats and everything get he just can't like sit still and oh my god I needed this right here right here just the waves and the salt in the air and the, the breeze like this is this is good right now this is so good for me right now really difficult to work on my book because it's like like my life just like completely spiraled and like um Gallagher sorry um but it's just like I'm just like I'm doing my best right now I'm sitting down I'm working on it and I just I just want to get it done you know but it's hard because it's like all these changes like are constantly happening and it's like I have to I have to like restructure it now because it's like everything 
I don't even know how to describe it right now. It's like everything's happening like all at once and all at the same time and like so fast. I mean, there's like a new change like every couple of days, it seems like. So it's just a lot and it's a lot to write about. And uh, I'm just not sure. I feel like the first half of the book is going to be like a little bit slower. I mean, not necessarily slower because I feel... <laughs> I don't know, man. My whole my whole freaking life, dude. It's uh, it's like I, I, I don't even think it would be considered a sitcom at this point. It's just like a long ass movie, but um, yeah. So I'm just sitting here writing now. So that's actually really really good because I've needed to sit down and work on it. So all right, we're back with another fucking vlog. What up, cuz? I'm back at the doctor's just doing a checkup and like I just can't get over this view. <laughs> okay, I, I swear to god I've just been waking up every day like what's gonna happen today? All right, well, I got another job, and I'm not even, I'm not even putting a notice in them after everything that they did and after everything that they've been doing now, now, like to everyone else, no, I'm just gonna no-call, no-show, um, they don't deserve a notice, and honestly, they probably wouldn't care anyway, so, like, why am I even bothering, like, staying there for longer than I have to, um, Shout out to Camilo for putting me on, <laughs> on another job. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so things are moving along and um, I meet with someone this weekend that I think will be a good fit <coughs> for Helios. Um, and then that's where life's at right now. I got a friend that wants to buy my car as soon as I'm done handling some more things. And then, yeah, so I think I'm, I think I'm starting to see starting to see the light um but I also decided I think when my lease is up I'm gonna go ahead and move in with roommates because at this point I'm just like I don't even I, I don't even want to do all this anymore and also if I'm really serious about like potentially getting a flight attendant job later then it's like well I'm hardly gonna be home anyway and I need someone I trust like to watch over Zed if I'm keeping my cat you know so that's where I am right now and of course I'm drinking Heineken and I'm I'm happy right now. I'm relieved and so this is good. So yep. My dog is gone, dude. I think it's gonna be a really good fit for him with this lady and her dog. And she has a yard and everything and Jesus Christ. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't like get over how freaking fast my life moves like at this point. It, I'm just like I'm just like manically like selling all my stuff. I'm just like I, I just gotta make it like a couple more months and then uh, I'm probably just gonna say screw it and move to Japan at this point. Whatever. <laughs> I am in such a freaking bad mood right now. I'm in such a freaking bad mood. I went to go bake fresh bread to give to all of my neighbors because they're all elderly and because I just wanted to. I just wanted to. I like dropping stuff off to them sometimes. And I've been having an issue lately with cigarette beetles and I found the sources and I cleared it all out and I haven't had an issue since then. And I go to open up my big, like, 20-pound bag of flour that I got from Costco and everything. And sure enough, I, I had to get rid of it. I had to throw it out so I couldn't even make bread. And I'm um, just, oh my god. Like, it's like the littlest things right now are making me freaking lose my mind. I'm, like, getting so frustrated so freaking fast. Like, this is, uh I had a crazy day yesterday. <laughs> I sound so bad. But 
I I had a really good day yesterday. I I think um everything's going to level out and stabilize soon. I got really good news. Um two pieces of really good news yesterday. So it looks like everything's going to be okay. Um finally, thank God. Oh, everything's going to be okay though. And honestly, like I realized it was like I think like this whole month like I think I needed this struggle. Like, I think I needed to be struggling this bad and to be humbled and um, to just, like, have this moment in life uh, to just kind of screw me over just so that I could figure it out and just remember, like, what I'm capable of and how, you know, I know that I always have, I always got me. I always make sure that I'm going to be okay and just getting back on my feet and it's, it's just this oh my god this whole month has been a freaking fever dream but it's nearing the end of the month and everything's gonna be okay and I am very happy right now and I'm very relieved and I can finally start saying it's a beautiful day to be alive again so spending all day on the beach today. I don't care about anything right now. <laughs> it's such a nice day out. I'm getting baked out here. Uh, no, but I mean, life's good right now. I mean, it's definitely moving back in the right direction. It's, uh, Things are definitely looking up, leveling out, thank God. So today I'm just like, you know what? It's the last day of April. <laughs> it's the last day of hell month. <laughs> it's all gonna be good. So I'm, um, I'm chilling. I'm hanging out today. I'm drinking soju. I'm, I'm just, I, oh, look at these buildings. I fucking love architecture. No, but it's it's a good day. Today's a good day. Finally, finally, life is getting good again. Here I am, sweeping my floors. I don't got a handle anymore. Na, 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 na. And I know I can't sing, but I'm gonna because what the fuck is life anymore? Na, 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 na. This is how you write the blues. You just go through life and hope it doesn't undo you. <laughs> Bruh. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep sweeping. I don't even know what the fuck I'm sweeping anymore. I'm just here living on the dance floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm finally gonna go on this desperately needed hike that I have needed, but I need to take it easy today because I have a headache. And also, I I am due for I am due for a nice long drive, um, especially before I get rid of my car. I am selling my car to my friend, so I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna go for a nice long drive up to the North Shore, up to Haleiwa, and I'm gonna do Waimea Falls. And <laughs> oh, it's gonna be such a good day. And I got I got so. so <laughs> I got so sunburned yesterday. I fell asleep on the beach twice. The first time it's only for like 20 minutes. The second time was for over an hour. Um, but that was a good day. And I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to go to the beach again today after my hike. Cause whatever, you know, 
Okay, it's gonna be a really good day. I, I got my swimsuit on. I decided while I'm on the North Shore, I'm gonna go ahead and hit up my favorite beach. And then I'm going to go to, on my way back home, I'm gonna hit Kahala Beach too. So this is gonna be good. You know what's freaking crazy? It's crazy that like, as soon as retrograde ended, that's when like the good news started coming in. Like that's when I realized that I can, okay, like I, I gotta scrape by through May, but like, I mean, until like towards the end of the month, so I'll be fine and everything. But it's just like, it's, it's insane. Like as soon as retrograde ends, that's when things start looking up. That's when things start leveling out. So I don't know what that's about, but uh, I'm not gonna question it. I'm here for it. I'm so excited for this long drive. I just, I need to get lost in that like highway hypnosis and uh, <sighs> life's good. Life is getting good again. And I have arrived. There's a lot of people here, but I knew it was gonna be like that. Oh, they have a big gift shop. I got no money, but I'm still gonna check it out after. <laughs> Haven't even gotten through admissions yet. This is dope. Okay, made it through admissions. Kama Aina discount. Yes. So, oh, oh, this is gonna be so cool. <laughs> Shoulder hurts really bad right here. I'm bloated as hell. I didn't bring my water with me because it's only like a half hour and it's all paved, nice and easy. So I'm having a great day. <laughs> Yo, I am so glad that April and all its fuckery is over. Oh. to start crying bro I needed a day like this so bad this is fantastic literally like magical fairy tale land I mean all of Hawaii is but like this is this is cool Oh, they even got like the the huts and like old living sites. That's so cool. Ooh, blue jade. I haven't done filming in like the cinematic mode in a while. I forgot it existed. I love the jungle. I belong in the jungle. <laughs> I said that someone walked by and <laughs> started laughing at me. I'm walking on a sidewalk and these two girls damn near ran me off of it. Like, dang, girl, move. I just walked by someone that was talking about someone else that said that guy looked like a pedo. I'm dead. <laughs> Go. I 
was very nice and very needed. So I'm on my way back down. Um, definitely didn't take a half hour, but I usually go through my hikes a lot faster than how long the internet says it's supposed to take. But I'm about to hit the bathroom and then hit the tippy top of the North Shore. I always forget why Maya Valley's got like no signals. <laughs> I haven't been able to respond to anyone that's been trying to get a hold of me. Um, can't wait to go in the ocean and cool down, but yo, I don't know why, like, all these people be staring at me, like, when I'm not recording, you know? So, like, if, if I'm recording, like, yeah, I can understand, like, some looks and everything, but, like, some of these people just keep staring. I'm like, is there, no, there's nothing on my face. Like, I look fine. Just, uh, it's so, so weird. Here come the cramps. I'm straight dying now. Oh. My back hurts really bad, probably from sleeping on the beach yesterday. Like, really bad. I don't have any ibuprofen with me. Oh yeah, I'm not done yet. I forgot about the gift shop. We all know about Lost. <laughs> mind it's closed for like 10 minutes I gotta use the bathroom and I want to sit in my car and drink water I am having so much fun playing outside today <laughs> oh. Ooh, I think on my way to Kahana Beach I think I'm gonna take a little detour and stop at uh and stop in La 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 EA it's not La I it's La EA and oh yeah I'm gonna get some really good footage of uh my favorite thing to record ever is like big waves hitting the the big black like coral volcanic rocks um slow motion yeah turning back around i forgot to switch out of my converse into my slippers i'm so excited um we're gonna have a potluck with our whole crew and everything soon and my brothers are gonna be here for it um because they're coming into town this month for a week it's gonna be so nice to see them. Um, but it's gonna be really fun like introducing them to all of my friends, so it's gonna be cool. Nobody's on the lookout point, and I haven't actually been on it before, so I'm gonna walk over there. I think I'm just gonna sit and chill here for a while. Um, I'm not gonna go swimming here though, because it's just really rocky and the waves are really strong. I mean, I can swim, but start learning how to surf and everything's gonna be hard but I just gotta have people with me so I don't drown. <laughs> destination.
I just pulled up. Can't go swimming. Brown water. Oh shoot. The water's really nice and warm over here too. Okay. I guess I'm going to Waimanalo Beach then. <laughs> So freaking blue. I mean, that's like, it's like straight up turquoise. I love how soft the sand is here too. Aloe gel. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you noticed. I took my piercing out too. I had to take it out for work. It makes me kind of sad, but whatever. I've had it for years anyway. It's not, not a huge deal. I probably shouldn't stay here too long given my current skin condition. That was super fun. So much more fun than Ala Moana Beach. Um, I know people are looking at me like, damn, she's wet. <laughs> Of the day. This lady is straight feeding all these birds over here. It makes me so freaking mad when I see that. Like, everybody knows you're not supposed to feed them. What is she even giving them? Oh, it's not even a lady, it's a dude. People are ridiculous. <laughs> Sitting here thinking about it, and like honestly, I feel a lot more like myself today than I have in a while. So today was a really good day. That makes me really happy. I feel like my skin is already getting leathery. Oh my God. I can tell my face is really burned when I have crow's feet. So I wrote something that I actually really like that I shared to Instagram like a couple weeks before shit hit the fan and everything kind of fell apart. Um, but I still like it. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and share it. But I wrote, I love this life I've created. All the scars left on my body from the storms I've walked through. Conversations about nothing and everything under tents. All the sunshine on my skin I yearned for, the cracks left within me from broken plans sewed tightly together with the red threads of people I've been dying to meet my whole life and still more to cross paths with, chilled drinks and mahi plate lunches in the sand, the dreams I proofread and edited restlessly with each passing minute, the still silence in my space at night, lo-fi droning from the living room, poetry like an infinite fountain in my mind, the salt water in my hair, the sun-dusted freckles that Aloha sprinkled on my face, my eyes that refused to avert to the ground and instead looked up to the swaying palms, the doors I found keys to while I slept, holding them in my hands when I awoke, the endless deep blue sea. For the first time in my life, I am in love with everything and everyone. I love my home, I love my job, I love the people in my life, I love me, and I love where I'm going. I don't know why I'm kind of like shaking right now like I don't like because I don't like sh read my stuff out loud and it's so weird because it's like I know like I'm talking to people because I know people are gonna be watching this but like I'm literally sitting in my room by myself you know but um it's just crazy that I wrote something like that and that everything happened the way it did 
Bro, <laughs> leather face. God damn. I need to, uh, I need to put some moisturizer on. But I mean, honestly, like, I still mean that. Um, cause I mean, I really do enjoy my new job. It's actually really cool. Um, but yeah, I didn't delete it or anything because I, I still feel the same way. And like I said, I just, I don't know. I liked it. So I hope you did too. I think I'm just gonna wrap up this video here while while the going's getting good and things are you know leveling out and I'm getting back on my feet and I feel really good actually like I feel a lot better about everything including myself you know like I said today was today was the first day I actually felt like myself in a long time so that was really good but I know this video was all over the place um i mean my whole life's just kind of been all over the place lately but uh i hope you enjoyed it either way um so hopefully i can get back on track to uh be consistent with it again like how i was posting one video a week and everything so thanks for watching if you stayed until the end and if you know you're not subscribed yet you might think that you are but you're not so just double check you know please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more um and yeah have a lovely day and i hope you all have a better month than i did last month including myself <laughs>